All right, so here's where we are. We got our profile ground to shape, got it all cleaned up. Uh, I've got it annealed, uh, put it back in the forge for a bit so the steel will be nice and soft to drill. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna turn my attention to is grinding these flats. I'm a little thicker out here at the tip than I am down here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up nice and even. And then we'll move on to roughing in our bevels and then drilling our pinholes for the handle and then Get ready for heat treat. All right, so I've got some lines laid out here on the dagger. Just some areas to grind to where I want to place my uh, file guide and then of course the center line down the handle that goes through the tip. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in a little better. All right, so you can see the center line there as it runs through the tip. I'm going to grind, I'm not going to grind the bevels all the way to the middle for heat treat. I'll do that afterward. I got my line here where my file guides will go up to and start uh, the plunge lines for the blade and the handle will be up in here. We'll shape that afterward. But I'm going to go ahead and scribe the edge here and then we'll be ready to go to the grinder. Now grinding dagger blades can be pretty intimidating, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, I know when I first started, they seemed to give me a lot of a lot of fits. Uh, so one thing you can do when you approach this is you can clamp it in, a, clamp a file guide on it, a homemade one, a store bought one, whatever you want to do, and you can use a file. And with an angle set up, you can file in the bevels if you would like. Uh, I have a VFD on my grinder, so what I do is I turn it down real low and just take my time. It's better to go nice and slow. It may take longer, but at the end, you're less likely to mess up than to try just to get on a grinder and just blast through it and then end up ruining a blade. Also, uh, a grinding jig would help out tremendously in this situation. Uh, over the years, I've got more comfortable freehand grinding, so as long as I have these file guides on here, I should be okay. But that's just some tips, just nice and slow, take your time. If you wanna work it in with a file, hey, that's cool too. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump on the grinder and we're gonna get these bevels roughed in and get ready for heat treat. Alright, so I've got all the pinholes drilled for the handle. 
it's time to get this back in the forge and get it heat treated. All right, everything went great in the quench. Nothing was warped. Everything was nice and straight, so I tossed it in the oven. I uh, got it tempered. Uh, did a little thing, I did things a little bit different this time. Uh, normally I do two one-hour cycles at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I did two two-hour cycles this time at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And everything seemed to work pretty well. So I'm going to go and get the edge scribed, and then we'll move on to getting our bevels finished up and ready for hand sanding.